Hello everyone. Hope everyone is doing great. Today I'm going to pose something different from the, my normal content, which is uh, industrial automation, IoT, and Industry 4.0. For today's video, I'm going to talk about ChatGPT, and I'm going to draw on a quick test for generating Python code using ChatGPT. And this is my first try. I'm just going to see how that works and how accurate the code is. So as you may already know, uh, ChatGPT uh, offered by OpenAI company has made a lot of noises out there in the market. And it looks like it's a next generation of AI. And it's a great asset for many industries and many professionals for marketing professionals, you know, programmers, and many other industries. So without further ado, let's just jump into the ChatGPT dashboard and do a quick test. So as you may already give the ChatGPT, GPT, sorry, I have a hard time pronouncing it, ChatGPT a try, the dashboard looks like this. So let's just create a new chat and I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write me a Python code for speech recognition. Maybe or we, we, we may kind of make it more complicated over the time, but uh, let's see how does that work. So I'm just going to say write a Python code to convert speech to text and print the result on the terminal. Okay, as you see here, it suggests you can use speech recognition library to convert the speech to text, which is very imp impressive because I've used this library before and you can find in my other videos um, this is actually the best library for converting the speech to the text. And as you see here, I'm very surprised because it just uh, gave kind of an optimized code in a few lines of Python codes here. I'm just importing the library, creating an instance, and doing the rest. So let's just copy this code and Maybe I just use sublime text. Okay, let's create a new file. I paste in the code here. And I'm just going to save it in my uh, folder that I just created. Uh, it's called ChatGPT. Let's call it speech.py. Okay. Yeah, and let's just run the code. It says I speak anything. Oh, impressive. As you see here, it kind of converted my speech to text and it printed the result. I said it says speak anything. So I'm just going to run it again and do another test. This is a test to test chat GPT. This is a test to test chat GPT. Wow, beyond impressed. As you know, apparently this is a very simple code, but um, maybe let's just do it more complicated and see if it give, gives us more complicated code. So I am just going to add more request so write a python code to convert the speech to text and print the result on the terminal and uh, maybe repeat what i said on my speakers something like that i'm just thinking loud. Okay, it says you can use, again, a speech recognition library to convert a speech to text 
and use GTTS library to convert the text to a speech and play it on your speaker. Okay, interesting. Let's see what it gives us. Okay. Perfect. As you see here, it just imported the library for speech to text and also library to convert text to speech. Just a normal OS library for general uh, functions in the OS. And as you see, it just says speak anything. So it prints speak anything on my terminal. And then it says you set here. It repeats what I said and then it saves the audio as an MP3 and then it plays them and save the mp3 and it, that's why it uh, imported the os because it wanted to play back on my audio card so let's go back to or i just copied the code okay and just paste in again save let's run it oh okay so that means i need to install this library because i never used it before so I'm just going to say pip install gtts. Okay, successfully installed. Let's run it again. Or let's just, uh, yeah, let's run it again. Hello, this is a test to test chat GPT in generating Python code. Okay, I did not hear that it repeats the sound actually, but I'm assuming that's not a, that's not a code problem, it's for my laptop. And I'm just going to see where did it save. Okay, okay, yeah. So it did save an um, audio file. Hello, Hello, this, this is, is a, a test, test to test, test Chat GPT in generating, generating Python code. code. Okay, that's very interesting, as you saw. So, converted my speech to text, and then it converted the converted text to speech again, and it uh, saved it as an MP3 file. Let's run it again. Hello, this is Moss. I use ChatGPT to create a Python code for a speech recognition, and I'm just doing the test. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'm assuming it's, it takes a while to test save the audio. Let me play the audio. Hello, this is Moss. I use ChatGPT to create a Python code for a speech recognition, and I'm just doing the test. Wow. That is amazing, guys. I'm really impressed. Because I remember when I wanted to kind of figure out how to do this by my own, you know, write this Python code, I had to spend at one hour or a couple hours, and this just, it's just a request on ChatGPT. It gave me the code that is required to do the speech recognition. Apparently, you can do many other complicated things, and um, I'm going to give it more try, maybe I'll post later, but for now, I just wanted to show you how you can use this great tool for uh, basically writing a Python code or in any other language like Java or I'm just thinking maybe I can create a website using this you know kind of HTML dashboard and um, ultimately maybe I can use it for program a microcontroller or maybe a PLC or something like that uh, uh, this is just very mind-blowing honestly I really liked it and um, hope you also got some idea if you haven't got already 
by your own test and your own research and studies. Just let me know what you think about this uh, new tool, ChatGPT, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.